So we've got Secret Scent Box number two this week. Um, I'll wait for a few of you to join before I go into it. I've invited a few people. Hello, Bonnie. <laughs> there we go. Right, so you might have seen Mel's unboxing last night, but all of us admin have got the February secret scent box. So basically the idea is to get a description of, from each person's point of view, so one person may like a perfume, another person won't. That's the whole point of it. So this is what the box looks like. Thank you. <laughs> Just open it up. So you get the three perfumes in there. The idea is that they all should last you a month, so you've got a long enough time to try them out, test them, see how long they last on your skin, because everyone's skin's different as well. A lot of the time when you go and smell a perfume, like on a card, it smells different when it reacts with your skin. So I think this is a really good idea. And also for those people that can't go out to Debenhams, John Lewis, things like that to try perfume, you're literally getting them sent to your door and you get three options. So hopefully out of one of the three you're going to love. Um, this month you've got the FC UK one, Gucci Bloom, Davidoff Cool Water. So it gives you little de like little description cards of each of the scents, which I find really helpful because it tells you the top notes, middle notes and base notes. So it kind of, you know what to expect before you put it on. And then it shows you the bottles as well, which is nice. Because obviously in the little vials, you can't tell what a full size is going to look like. Right, let's get started. I'll start off with the French Connection one. This is meant to be the really sweet one, I think. It You can tell from the bottle that it's going to smell, smell quite feminine and girly. I can smell it from here, <laughs> I can smell it in the air already, it's quite strong, but it is very feminine, proper girly, hiya, <laughs> yeah, fruity and floral it says, I could definitely agree with that, I'd say it's more on the fruity side than floral, um, it's probably a good everyday perfume because it's not too overpowering, but I can imagine it lasts quite a while, it's not, um, yeah, it's not going to blow you away when you walk in a room, but when you walk past someone, you're likely to smell it. So that was the first one. I normally go for quite sweet feminine smells as well, so that's probably a good one. Took me ages. <laughs> Do you realise what you've just said, Mel? I'll go with the second one. I did it on my <laughs> Bonnie, I see you laughing. <laughs> oh well, whatever floats your boat. <laughs> Next one is Gucci Bloom. So a lot of you might be familiar with this because I think it was in the Feel Unique Pick and Mix. So I have smelt it before. I do quite like it actually. I think it's quite a different one. It's unusual. I can smell it just from here as well. Right, we'll throw this on the other arm. Or as Mel says, we'll squirt it on the other arm. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, no, this one's taking... There we go. I'll only spray it once because I know this is quite strong. I really don't know how to explain it. Because normally when floral smells, they're quite sweet at the same time, but this isn't sweet. I wouldn't describe it as sweet anyway. I mean, everyone's going to smell it differently, but I do, in a way, it kind of smells like herby. I don't want that to sound weird, but yeah, like florally herby. <laughs> Took you ages to press the thingy. Yeah, that might be a better way of explaining it. <laughs> So yeah, it tells you all the different notes in it. 
which is also good because if you do like a perfume what you can do is have a look online if you go on like the perfume shop website and things like that you can ha actually have a look at the different notes in other perfumes so you'll be able to find one similar that you may like so once you know the different kind of scents you do you can kind of follow them lines Right, and then the last one is the Davidoff Cool Water. I'm pretty sure I've smelt this before. My mum used to wear it when I was a kid. Um, it's more of a, like, a fresh sort of smell compared to the other two, I think. Double check when I smell it, but... Yeah, it smells like a garden, Gucci Bloom. Yeah, definitely. That It's like a florally musky smell. Whereas the FC UK one is like a floral fruity, so it's a lot sweeter. You can proper tell the difference between them. Right, um, where should we spray? We'll spray it on top of this arm. Right, so this is the Davidoff Cool Water. So wave it about for a bit. See, this is more, I like this type of smell as well, like citrusy, fruity. So not like a sweet fruity, more like, yeah, like blueberry and stuff. Like, yeah, this has mint, watermelon, pineapple, blackcurrant. And then it's got like peach in the base notes as well. So it is very uh, fruity, but it is a fresh, it, the name kind of describes it, cool water. That is literally what it smells like. Really refreshing. I know a lot of ladies wear men's aftershave as well because they don't like the sweet scents. So something more masculine. Um, I think the Davidoff is, would be the one out of these three that would be the most masculine, whereas the other two are quite girly and feminine. But yeah, I think it's a great idea. Once a month you get this. It's £13 with free shipping. We've got a discount code at the moment. It's Box Session 15. Um, we also have the competition with them at the moment. So you can win a his and her box. That closes on Sunday. It's free to enter. Just like and share their page. And then uh, send a screenshot on the post. We just give you a number and then do a random number generator to see who wins. So it's worth entering anyway. Give it a go. But it's definitely, like, if you can't get out of the house, you can't go to Debenhams, you can't, you don't have time to walk around the shop smelling different perfumes, this is a great way to do it. And then you get the full month of testing them out, rather than just a day when you go into a department store or whatever. And I think they give you enough information for you to take it away with yourself, so if you know you do like something, you can then act on that. You don't need to go back in and ask for more help, you've got enough information there from them. Yeah, I think I think it might be unisex because that's that's what yeah. It does smell like it could be unisex. I think that's why I like that one the best. My arms smell like a perfume shop now. Probably not the best idea putting them on all at the same time. So what I'm going to do is over the next week or month try all of them out, see how long they last on the skin, see how they wear see which one's my favourite, and then um, we'll all do a written review so you can kind of see our different opinions on them because I'm sure the other ladies will have different opinions to me because it's literally personal choice with, when it comes to perfume. Yeah, scents do change on your body. They react with everyone's skin differently. So something might smell really nice on someone else and on me it just wouldn't suit me at all. So it's a good way to test it out. <laughs> I think I've covered everything. So yeah, you can use the discount code on the monthly one or the three, six or 12 month. Um, you can cancel at any point. Uh, it fits for your letterbox, so you don't need to worry about being in and missing it and being red carded by Royal Mail. <laughs> so yeah, I think that's about everything. If you've got any questions, just leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you. Um, and yeah, make sure to enter the competition while you can. Ends on Sunday. Alright then guys, I'll speak to you later. Bye.